I wanted to introduce the whole subject of the Cuban Revolutionary Posters by just explaining a little bit about my love for them. <laughs> because I started collecting them from my very first visit. I got there on the July 4th, 1969, right? Long time ago. And the very first poster that I saw and ripped off the wall was... <laughs> Good thing you weren't yes, I, you know, I don't think I would do that now, <laughs> but I was so excited to see a poster just kind of sitting there on the wall and not asking for anything that I, I ripped it off, you know? <laughs> and, I mean, our posters have been borrowed by museums in Germany, in Italy, in Argentina, in Brazil. I mean, other people respect graphic design in a way that I think we don't. And, you know, my dream has always been to put together a book that tells the story of the Cuban Revolution from the beginning to now through posters. Because every important step of the Cuban Revolution is here. It really is. And the two organizations, as I started to say, that made the most posters at the very beginning of the revolution were Ikaik for the film posters. So a, a lot of these are film posters, the framed ones. Many of them are film posters. But anything that's a movie is basically from the Film Institute. So they started very early because they were advertising the movies. They had to reach out. And what they did was they made 500 hand silkscreen posters of each design and then proceeded to put them up, slack them up all over the city just like they were offset and they had printed 10,000 of them. Special events for special games for anything, you know, and sometimes just to make a point. Um, but the first ones were the Film Institute and Ospal because it was very, very important to the early Cuban Revolution that they make solidarity with other countries. And you can see all of the countries, the real flowering of that solidarity movement was the same as ours, you know, the war in Vietnam. Anyway, at the very beginning, these were the only two organizations that people knew about, the solidarity and the film. But as I started to travel around Cuba, which was from the very first instance, I saw that in every town, city, little pueblo, people made their own posters and they put them up for whatever event. So this grew into a recognition, I think, by the propaganda offices of the Central Committee of the Communist Party and they started hiring graphic designers to push their agendas. 